and andrologist at the Nevada Center for Reproductive Medicine. Today I'm going to be talking about what a semen analysis is and a little bit about male factor infertility. So what is a semen analysis? Who would order this? Why do you guys need to get checked out? Um, it's kind of a scary uh, concept, but it's really important for male reproductive health. And Male factor infertility is really complex, actually. There's lots of factors that can contribute to male factor infertility, and your doctor can gain a better understanding by ordering a semen analysis. A semen analysis is a diagnostic tool. Now, who would this be used for? This would be used for men who are trying to conceive a child with their partner. This could also be used for men who actually just underwent a vasectomy, and we need to make sure that the vasectomy in fact worked and there's no longer any sperm production going on or this could be a, a general a family pr practitioner gaining a better understanding of the sperm or reproductive health um, as a part of other factors that contribute to his own individual medical um, history and what he's going through at that time if it's uh, hormonal. So male factor infertility can be quite complex, but a semen analysis is a diagnostic tool that is used in the laboratory. A semen analysis uh, can be obtained, and then once that sample is obtained, we will then process it in the laboratory, and we're looking at a few things when it comes to a semen analysis. A semen analysis, we are taking into consideration the volume, how much ejaculate do we see. We're also looking at concentration, which just means the sperm overall. We're looking at how many of them there are in the sample under the microscope. Um, do they look okay? Do they look abnormal? If, um, the anatomy of the sperm itself, we're zoning in on and we're looking at with careful consideration the, the head of the sperm and the tail of the sperm, which can be affected and can be abnormal. So we want to make sure that when we're looking at a semen analysis that the sperm itself actually under the microscope looks okay, um, that it checks out. And then we're going to take into consideration a few different categories. Are, are there good uh, modal alive sperm? Are they swimming in a, in a progressive uh, forward motion that is capable of inseminating an egg? Are they just dead, lying, and twitching? I, there's lots of different types of progressions that sperm can have, and so we're going to give the sperm itself an actual grade on progression and the way and the direction it's moving. Um, we are also going to look at the, the number of sperm that are moving in that forward progression. So not all sperm move the same way. Some swim backwards, some swim in circles, some swim in that normal forward progression. So when we are assessing a semen analysis, we refer to uh, the fifth edition of the World Health Organization lower reference limit. So there's lots of numbers we're looking at here, but the numbers that we want to compare next to or the numbers that we start to have um, concern with fall below uh, a certain reference limit, which is we're looking at volume. How many milliliters of ejaculate do we see in a semen analysis? We like to see 1.5 milliliters or greater. And then we're looking at concentration, which means both alive and dead sperm is 15 million per milliliter. We like to see at least 40% of sperm alive in the sample. Uh, sperm, spermatogenesis in the human body is very complex and it takes about three months to complete from uh, immature sperm to the sperm that is uh, present in the ejaculate that day. And a mature spermatozoa or sperm is what is needed to uh, inseminate an egg and um, achieve pregnancy. So the CM analysis gives a lots of different information that your doctor will obtain and is a helpful diagnostic tool to understand. Thank you for watching today, and if you have any questions um, regarding andrology or male reproductive health, please call our office at the Nevada Center for Reproductive Medicine. We'd be happy to go over and answer your questions.